Alright guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you two separate add-ons today, one called Cell Fracture and one called Attribute Copy. Pretty damn powerful add-ons to be fair. So to begin, let's go to Edit, then Preferences, and search in add-ons for Cell, enable it, and search for Attribute. And you can see here, Copy Attributes menu. Now that we've got that started, in traditional fashion, let's delete this cube. Pow. Now first of all, I'm going to go to Add, Mesh and a Plane. On the right, I'm going to go to the Particle tab and I'm going to add a Particle Settings. In the Emissions, I'm going to reduce it down to 75. The Frame Start will leave it 1 and we'll change the End Frame to 1. And what we'll see here is we've generated 75 particles on the faces of our mesh. So pretty much Straight off the bat, everything's working. For us to enable cell fracture, we go up here, we go to object and we go to quick effects. And you'll now notice we have cell fracture. Now if I can get this up to 10 likes, I'll maybe go a little bit more into depth with cell fracture. But for now, we'll leave things on default. But just a quick overview, you can generate from vertices, particles or annotation pencil. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the margin. The margin essentially gives the topology space. So we'll do 0 0.02. And what we'll do is we'll sign this to a new collection. So we'll call this collection Fracture, for example. And we'll hit OK and we'll let it run its magic. Pow! Now we'll just come up here and I minimise this down and I will hide our original topology, the plane. Now there's a few things we could do here. For example, we could extrude the topology and then run a physics simulation on it. But we're going to create something a bit more organic looking. So we'll come up to our collection and fracture, and you'll notice that we have 75. So first of all, we'll select the first one. And it's this one right here. And we're going to go and add a modifier. In fact, we'll add two modifiers. First of all, we'll add a wireframe modifier. Now you'll notice that the topology is kind of inverted. So we can change this to boundary and we can reduce the thickness ever so slightly. Now don't apply the modifier yet because we're going to add another modifier and we're going to add a subdivision surface. And that will give us something a bit more organic. So we'll change the viewport settings up to 2 and we'll leave everything as standard. Now this is where the attribute copy menu comes into a whole league of its own. Now what it does Rather than selecting each individual object and applying a modifier and same again, next object, apply a modifier. What it will do is it will copy the modifiers over anything that we selected. So with this object selected, what we're going to do is invert the selection. So we'll hit Control and I. And you'll notice that everything else is selected. Now that everything is selected, we need to select the object that, is our, that has our modifiers applied which is this one here. So we can hold shift and you'll notice just up here it's a slightly different colour. Now to bring the attribute menu up, very simple, you hit control and C. Now you can already see the power in being able to copy attributes. You can copy location, rotation, scale, surface, but the one we are interested in is copy modifiers. And let's just press that and wow. So what I'll do is I'll quickly undo this and we'll take off the subdivision surface so we've got this nice kind of square stuff and I'll show you again. Hit Control i to invert the selection. Select the object that has the modifier applied. Control c and copy modifiers. And there we go, we get this nice kind of mesh effect. Now hopefully this will give you a better idea how powerful these two plugins are. Highly recommend them. Thanks for watching, you know what to do, hit that like and subscribe button, peace.